Understanding Take Home Pay, a simple guide for English learners. Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a very common term in the English language, especially in the context of jobs and salaries. It's called Take Home Pay. Understanding this term is crucial for anyone working or planning to work, as it directly relates to your income. Let's dive into what it means and how it affects you. Take home pay refers to the amount of money that an employee receives after all deductions have been made from their gross salary. These deductions can include taxes, social security, health insurance, and other benefits. Essentially, it's the money you take home at the end of the day. It's important because it represents the actual income available for your personal expenses. Understanding how take-home pay is calculated is key. Your gross salary is the starting point. This is your salary before any deductions. From this, various deductions are subtracted. These can vary depending on the country and job. Common deductions include income tax, a portion of your salary paid to the government, social security contributions, payments for future benefits like pension, health insurance, if it's not provided for free in your country, other possible deductions, like union dues or retirement plan contributions. The amount left after these deductions is your take-home pay. Understanding your take-home pay is crucial for budgeting and financial planning. It helps you budget effectively, knowing how much money you actually have for your expenses. Plan for the future, saving or investing based on your real income. Evaluate job offers, comparing the actual earnings from different jobs. That's all about take-home pay. It's a simple yet vital concept in managing your finances. By understanding your take-home pay, you can make informed decisions about your spending, saving, and overall financial planning. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.